S&P 500 continues to show strong momentum. This is Chris from FX Empire taking a look at the S&P 500. The S&P 500 has rallied early during the trading session on Friday in the overnight electronic trading session, but as the cash market is coming on board, it looks like more buyers are willing to step in. At this point, 5100 is all but assured, but it is also worth noting that we had broken out of a recent consolidation and underneath we now have the 5000 level that I believe will become a bit of a fulcrum for price. After all, it was right in the middle of the previous consolidation zone, so therefore it does make a certain amount of sense that it becomes an area due to market memory that people will be paying close attention to. Even if we were to break down below there, the 4,900 level, the 50-day EMA, and the 4,800 level, all underneath could offer plenty of support. Traders on Wall Street believe that the Federal Reserve is going to be cutting interest rates sooner rather than later, and they are starting to get signs from other countries that inflation is being beat back rather aggressively. The most recent one, of course, was Canada. And although that doesn't directly affect what happens in the stock market, it certainly gives an idea as to how things may be going globally. The question now will be whether or not inflation is under control and that the Federal Reserve can feel good enough about cutting rates. Ironically, one of the biggest problems they may run into is that Wall Street is so aggressive at the moment that they are actually driving up inflationary headwinds as well by driving asset prices up. This is going to be a very bizarre year to say the least. Nonetheless, this is a market that in the meantime, you will be buying each dip due to the fact that it is so strong and steady to the upside.